we really wanted to attract designers to this fund that were going to be the future of American fashion. And we wanted to establish a foundation and a fund and a group of people that were there to help and to support them. We're looking for people that um, are innovative, that have integrity in terms of their design and their company and people that we feel have a future. It's an exciting time. It's hard to think back <laughs> that <laughs> far. I can't believe it was 10 years ago. I mean, if, no. in a way, it feels like yesterday. You first meet them on paper. You only meet them through the written word and how they bring together images. There were some strong individuals here. And, we can and do we have the other three on the table, too? Mm -hmm. Her aesthetic seemed really holistic. I like it. But then when you meet them one-on-one... -on -one, they come up to the magazine and they present in front of the selection committees and then we basically interrogate them. The morning that we had to be at Vogue for our presentation, was one of the most frightening things yeah. I think we've ever had to do. Anna sitting there with her sunglasses on, and you know, it's definitely quite intimidating. I mean, we're seated at a very long table, it was very ominous, and you were timed. I remember that clock ticking in the background, and... <laughs> and at the end of that 15 minutes, it is over. It is like little Bo Peep with a hook. Off you go! I wanted to be not taken aback by the fact that I, I wasn't familiar with their face. So I printed all the 10 judges' pictures and put it on my wall. So the day of so much happening. Come on, come on. And then they call your name and you go in. This is my brand. You seem quite nervous. Well, this is intimidating. <laughs> it's a disaster. I built this crazy backdrop that fell over and almost killed one of the judges. Sorry if there was a little bit of a hiccup just now. Yeah, we had like arms. cheat sheets written down on our hands. <laughs> like, what are your sales this year? We're like, yeah, one person suggested we bought in a leopard or a cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> So I put the stool down, I put the record player on top of it, turned the record player on, and Give Me Shelter by the Rolling Stones started to play. Anna immediately asked that we turn the music down, so we did. <laughs> yes? Oh yes, of course, I apologize. And there you were, trying to sell your point a view and um, and then it rang ding and you had to leave the room. And that I guess is a very big lesson in terms of fashion is that you only have a certain window in which to create collections, sell them and you have to move on. So that's a good metaphor for perhaps their future careers. When we're looking at their portfolios or we're listening to their presentation, it's not the same as going to where they they live and work every day. I guess raw was an understatement, huh? <laughs> <laughs>